welcome friends today we will explain about the sd card memory stick usb micro sd and sd we will show you about the data recovery steps what we are doing in the data recovery and what is a complicated case as there pen drive memory sd nvme in a pen drive memory card if normal format in computer we can recover if it is not overwrite very easily but formatted deleted it's very easy but not detected is very hard if hard, if uh, uh, micro sd or usb hard disk is not detected usb pen drive or something not detected then we have to do in the physical case normally new uh, video editors video at shootings persons have a more complicated problems about the camera format recovery if sometime uh, by mistake formatted in a camera then the data will not retrieve with the any software normal software in that conditions we have to do the pin out so how to do the pin out that uh, i am showing but you have to work on it you required the special tools and all those things so we are doing a data recovery from the pen drive memory card sd card which have a pin out and which have an any options we can recover the pen drive so contact us for pen drive memory card record we will show you just basic about how we are doing the process and what we are doing the data recovery so this is your pen drive memory card next normally in a computer the most problem is this formatted in camera and data not scan through the software in this conditions if by mistake users have formatted the card in the camera then there is a note or no options in a normal software so it will not show any block uh, data so in that conditions we required that this process what we are showing in this videos or if any broken other sides not the nand scratch or the any other side there is a broken or a scratch card card hitting very hard very heat uh, when connect card not detection this is the process these are the problems in the card 8 gb memory card shows only 49 mb when we see in device manager it will show me the 49 mb or when the 16 gb card it will shows in the initializer it will show only 4 mb these are the firmware corruptions ha huh? there is any firmware corruptions so this only for data recovery not for repair ha huh? repair option is there but if you want to go and repair the data will not come so for recover the data we required a special task so sometime it asks me the format options like this when we connect card, uh, a memory card or something it will ask me the format so what we are doing just showing you basic idea showing basic idea how we are recovering recover the data so how the data store in the pen drive or ssd or memory card that we will first see see first of all there are the connections what we are seeing on the outer side is this pins outs you can see this pin outs here see you can see this pin out for sd card old card okay one number 2 3 4 5 6 like that micro sd from 1 to 8 pins are there micro sd simple pins okay you can see two pins are big this is big and this is big Huh? Others are normal. Here also you can see this is big and this is big. Here also you can see this is big like this is big like that is a V uh, VDD uh, VDD and v VSS like that. Hmm? VDD and VSS lock. So these are the pin. So SD card first pin is uh, first pin is a data. or cd data like that vss ground clock vss and data 0 1 2 3 these three pins okay so here you can see the pin out are here this big pin this big pin first data 1 data 0 huh? vss clock like that it will be go here so this is a what we are seeing the pins here this is normal but some more pins are below this that you cannot see directly without scratch so this is your sata interface interface means what we are connecting through these pins if this pin is readable your data will be accessible no problem but if it is not readable then we have to go further 
next now what is the inside the memory card that is important in the inside of the memory card you can see you can see these things only here is only the plastics okay so in a plastic if you can judge what is inside there is one ic there is a controller which connect with the flash ic so whatever data come it decide we have to store here yeah we have decide it will to store here it will like that it store the data here whatever the data come through the controller it store the data on the net flash memory so if controller is damaged then your data will not come outside in that condition we need these test points to recover the data so from the NAND whatever the pins coming from here and go here we have to make a jumper here and we have to read the data from here so that is physically data recover physical data recover from the memory card if you got this pin number then only so what is the pin number which pins are there that we will see on the next slide so this is your SD card connector between there is a controller that is a power data command and clock and where is a controller it is a SD interface microcontroller peripheral voltage regulator NAND interface so it in between it is in between SD connector and NAND the controller is working if controller is damaged then your data will be lost so whatever the problems come it due to the controller so in that condition what we are doing we recover the data to recover the data we want some special tools for soldering welding and all those things so you can see the soldering tools a good microscope we require the soldering iron we require this ball pens pen to remove the top cover like this this it is with the cover when we rub it then it will come to with the pin circuit designs circuit types so for that we require this all tools okay next first of all we will do with this type of scratches but nowadays one pen is coming so we required this pin you can see these pins these pin have some signals inside every pin has signals so whenever you ask about the data recovery from the memory card we need these pins pin out if you tell us how many pins the so one two three like that your four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen plus sixteen like that sixteen top sixteen bottom could be sometime it will be fourteen fifteen like that pins are there that you have to count and show us if this pin out is available in the market and if they have a solution that this pin is ground is this this like that then we can recover this if no other damage and ECC corrections are everything is okay then we can recover the data okay so this is your pin out but this is SD card and when the small SD card we have to remove these plastics then it will give me the pin out when we remove this plastic we will get this type of pinouts you can see here is a pinout here's are the pinout so when we scratch it it will look like this for that this nowadays we are using this pencil rub pen huh? card based cleaner huh? here we can scratch it and we can remove you don't remove the plastics because it will if any track is damaged then your data will not come so this is very important you don't try it if you have experience then you can go ahead but uh, after scratch also you need the tools if you have a tools PC3000 flash or VNR you can do or you can send to us we will do it so this is if you want to learn how to do it for that you require the tools and training then only you can do it so this is how we are doing next after scratches here is the pin out you can see the different pin if pin out is available in the market solutions pin this may be one pin a one may be VCC one may be ground you can see here one may be this is VCC this is one may be ground another data D1 D3 these are the all the pins you can see all these are the pins which pin is important that diagram you will available in the market from there you can see if you go to PC 3000 sites there also you will get the 
see in the market you will get this type of pins you can see if pin out these are the different different pin outs of micro sd card you can see in detail okay these all very many many types of micro sd companies are there they are manufacturing the if their pin out is available in the market then you can do these things and when you go to pc3000 site you will get the pin out like this this is main important pin outs see which pin outs we have to found d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 eight pins are data and in some uh, micro sd uh, there will be 16 pin also but in the new hard disk most of that are uh, eight pin command ale re rb c these are the signals name which are important when you go to pc3000 site huh you will get this type of pin outs okay this pin this is vcc ground this pin number is like like that you will get a pin out next so when we get the pin out that is vcc not connected d0 d1 d2 d3 d5 like that okay so you can find out this type of pin out so you can make a jumper if you have a no spider then you can make a jumper first of all we have to find these signals that is a 14 plus 2 pins 14 pins for data and 2 plus vcc and ground so these are the bus line and command line these are the important signals that you have to find it out we are making a jumper manually if you have a spider you can use the spider also no problem see like this we have make a jumper if you have a spider board then you can directly connect spider board then you have to connect this to here this is your device that is a pc3000 flash okay so 1 2 and 3 you can use these or this you both these are connected here these for this connection you have required this base so these signals will coming from here to device this device then you can connect to software through software you can read this nand if pin out is okay then it will start reading table and read the chip then we have to convert ecc and too many process are there in the firmware also so we have to do this task next what are the signals importance that is the d0 in out ale address latch enable command latch enable read enable write enable write protect read these are the signals importance for memory card okay so thanks for watching and contact us for data recovery from pen drive memory card ssd nvme and hard disk we are doing a data recovery from pen drive memory from last 2 years but from hard disk we are doing task from last 10 years hard disk data recovery training available online and offline also available and we are the reseller of mrt tools firmware dongle physical tools and all those to data recovery tools also available for any course inquiry you can contact 9824144698 or for data recovery work or queries you can you ask this number so thank you for watching this videos if any queries you can sub, uh, subscribe the channel and you can contact us okay we have lots of uh, data recovery work we are doing and students also too many we are giving support and uh, it's continues going on okay thank you we have outside students also online zoom class also for hard disk data recovery ssd and so on thank you